Yeah, hello, M here again. Thanks for watching and subscribing last time. That was lovely. I would like to start planting some crops, because as you can see, we are desperately in need of food. Yep, I have none currently. So I did actually plant some crops last week in a bit that I ended up cutting out. Um, but if we go down here, we have got some onions and I think potatoes. I'll leave those where they are right now because they are beginning to grow. But I will start to make some little crop beds behind the house. Sort of raised bed or planter style. And I'm going to fill these with all of the wheat seeds that I've got. I also think I'll start feathering this hill off, sort of down towards that flat area. I think I will try and blend the two a little bit more together, make it a smoother transition. So we can sort of have terraced crops as they go downhill uh, into, I guess, like a mini valley kind of a thing. We've got dirt slabs, so we can hide the water source. I'm also going to use some spruce trapdoors and the rest of the slabs to sort of blend these in. And a stompy stomp. I'll fill in the rest of the beds with a random mishmash of seeds that I have left. I kind of like this style because it feels a bit like the permaculture style of gardening where you've got companion plants that sort of look after each other. We've also got fabric seasons here, which will make different plants grow different speeds in different seasons, which I also like for the realism. With a couple of planters in, we'll add some bushy hedges to tie things together. And while I'm slightly enjoying putting this together, I very quickly ran into ADHD. So one of the things I've been noticing as I stand around waiting for my crops to grow, is that my inventory is a mess. So I'm gonna fix that before I do anything else. So once I've struggled putting some chests in place, I will fill one with stone type items and the other one with wood and nature type things. And then ADHD's gonna hit me again. Oh, I had some cooked salmon that I forgot about. Thanks, past me. Of course there was cooked salmon. And of course there's salmon out here. Why did I not think of that? Okay, I'm going to go fishing. <laughs> Which also reminds me, there was another thing in here that I wanted to get. That we can get plenty of. is clay. Because... Clay can become bricks, and bricks can become flower pots, flower pots can become decorations, and decorations add to the coziness. There's some clay. You know what, while there's a patch of sand there, I'll grab that and we can get started on windows as well. Because those windows are looking a bit hollow and empty. And like they could do with something to fill them in. There's some clay over there. Now we can do it. Somewhere in here. Next time we need to cook, we can start using the kitchen. I like this. And we got eight pieces of glass, which if we take these, we can turn into ornate windows. We need a few more of those. Oh, nice. That doubles the glass or doubles the panes. I had not realized that, apparently. But I like that. And of course, now that I've put in the windows, I remember there was a comment that I quite liked. It's just suggesting that if there wasn't enough space for the enchanting room above here, that I could lower the kitchen down by one, and then lower that space down by one, and have enough space for enough bookshelves, and a little bit of 
interesting play with the the different levels of the build. And I like that, so I shall do that. I think I'll do a step down and then another step down. I guess I can then also lower these windows by one. Of course, that makes sense. Do I lose? I do. Ugh. And I guess we can remove this step because we'll be coming out at ground level now. All that, and I've just been distracted from the garden, which is what I was meaning to be working on. Right, so we have this. Things are beginning to grow. Got some wheat, some tomatoes over there. I would like to have a few more different types of bushes in this hedge, though. So I think that's what I'll do next. For now, I'm just stealing some leaves from nearby trees because they're there. Uh, but eventually, I would like to set up a create-based farm for harvesting all the different types of wood and leaves. But for now, I think this will do. I'm mostly just dotting them around randomly, adding a little bit of a mix of colour, but I am also vaguely thinking of trying to sort of blend into the lighter coloured leaves as it heads down into the valley. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I heard that gradients are cool, so let's run with that. Yeah, I think I'm liking this. We do definitely need some windows on the back of the house. It does feel a bit strange without that. I was going to have uh, uh, this sort of storage area be a couple of chests and then a gap of maybe... Hmm, do I do two or three? And then a couple more chests. Maybe I do a gap of one. It'll be a bit tight. Would that work? Let's pop some temporary blocks down and see how that feels. It'll be tight, but I think it'll work. So then we can punch out another window here. That'll add some visual interest to the garden as well, which means I'll have a wall where my bed currently is. I think we might leave the staircase in this corner, but have it with better blocks. I think that means we'll be able to punch out a window here. It's, yeah. Let's see how that's looking. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I've been so ADHD about building this so far that I I can't remember what I have included or not. I've done some editing of the video and I was just all over the place. Um, but we've got these trellises from Beautify, I think the mod is. And I'd like to put some around here in the garden. These lattices can be filled with two tall flowers, so I've grabbed a couple from the little forest area nearby. I can plant them like that, or I can add a little bit of colour to the side of my house. So I think I'll use red here, just to add a bit of colour, and the birch blends in quite nicely with the white bricks of the diorite. Maybe not put that right there. But I will add a couple of bushes around the front. Maybe we can add something like that. And why not a little bit more up the side like this. Farmer's Delight gives us these wonderful cabinet blocks, which function, I guess, similar to a barrel, uh, but they look like cabinets, and um, I like them and they make for a nice countertop as well as good storage for all of our ingredients and kitchen-related things. So I spent a while experimenting with the cabinets. I wanted to include a smoker as well as the grill thing, and I wanted to have a sink and a little bit of decoration. I also started filling up the cabinets with the ingredients that we'll use in the kitchen. I would like to eventually have this somewhat laid out similar to how I'd have an actual fridge laid out. So I'd keep raw meat in one section separate from the cooked meat and then 
uh, vegetables in another place, and then a pantry with the grains and the eggs and things. But I'm a bit low on crops at the moment, so I'll wait until we've got more of those before getting that sort of properly fleshed out. But other than that, it's a little bit more decorating in the garden, a little bit more decorating in the kitchen. Off camera, because I have cut it out, I have done a little bit more building through the house. But overall, I'm rather liking where this is going. So we now have our stove and our smoker. We got a farmer's delight cutting board with a knife to chop all of our veg. And beneath that, we've got our little pantry cupboard stalling all of the ingredients. We also have a sink, some more cupboards for things like plates and eventually glasses, as well as a little bit of decoration and a crafting bench. Elsewhere in the house, I've started building a storage room. I've put some placeholder blocks up here for the enchanting setup. The little chest there will become the enchanting table, and the birch planks will become the bookshelves. I've got a little bedroom in the corner here. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with that space, but I would like to make it cosier and warm. And up in the attic, well, I still don't know what to do here, but we'll do something. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do let me know. Uh, it was lovely reading comments last week, and thanks for subscribing to those of you who did. That was lovely, and I'll see you next time when we will be building, I think, a water mill, and we'll get into some of the create side of things. But until next time, bye.